Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Updates. Remember the parliament has appointed an independent panel to investigate the Palapala Pala nonsense and their recommendations are very juicy. Um, myself, I thought they were going to come with uh, recommendations that are favoring Ramaphosa. Now it seems like it's a bad day for Ramaphosa, the 1st of December. There was a song sang by the ANC saying that Pagama Ramaphosa especially figured. It seems like they might have to change that song and say that Pagama uh, Ramaphosa, your time is up. Even Dr. Tlamini Zuma says, if you go and read the ANC step aside rule, I think he should step, he should step aside. Power to truth. She, she's talking about Ramaphosa saying that there are people like uh, Zuelim Kize, there are people like Ace Mahashule, many other who will say that, who will stand up and say, we are a victim of this so-called step aside where we have been told that no we need to step aside because we have cases to answer now the president has a case to answer i remember tabun Beki was speaking to the media about the fact that if this panel goes and investigate ramaphosa and they come and say he has a case to answer then he should step out he should step aside because there is no way that Ramaphosa can continue to be the president, can continue to lead while he has a case to answer. Do not tell us about the fact that let the investigation take place and conclude. There is no such thing. Let the man end his tenure. Now, just to read the, uh, the document, they say that the misconduct uh, based on violation of provisions of section 96 uh, and the violation of section 34 of uh, PRECCA were committed to keep the investigation a secret. The request to the Namibian police to handle the matter with discretion confirms this intention. The president abused his posi position as head of state to have the matter investigated and seeking the assistance of the M Namibian president to apprehend a suspect. Remember, this is uh, what the report is saying. There was more foreign currency concealed in the sofa than the amount reflected in the acknowledge acknowledgement of receipt. This raises the source of additional currency. People have been saying, whatever that we have been told about on that uh, report, on the, those allegations about the fact that it was these millions, it was less than millions, there was actually more than what they are saying. He himself even came, Ramaphosa, and said, people are saying it's a lot of money. It's in fact not that much. But hey, we have recommendations now. Look at the recommendation. Chapter 16, the recommendation. In light of all the information placed before the panel, we conclude that this information discloses prima facie that the president may, be, may have committed... 1. A serious violation of section 96. 2. A serious violation of section 34. 3. A serious misconduct in that the president violated section 96 by acting in a way that is inconsistent with his office. And lastly, a serious misconduct in that the president violated section 96 by exposing himself to a situation involved in a conflict between his official responsibilities and his private business of the constitution. Now here's the president who goes then say, well, in fact, I'm running at a loss on that farm that I'm running there. Those animals that I have, I'm not making any money. And someone comes and say, we don't care if you are making a loss or not. You are the president. What are you doing with businesses while you are the president? Now, here is a case to answer. Here is a case, Mr. Tawombeki. You said, if this guy, if they come with recommendations to say that, well, Ramaphosa has a case to answer, then indeed, he must step down. I will tell you this. We don't have a lot of time. We have uh, the, the, the conference that is coming there by the 16th, uh, if I'm not sure, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And then, Ramaphosa needs to contest Zuelim Kizi. But with this problem that is coming, Ramaphosa must step aside and let the matter conclude. Meaning, you step aside, 
the conference continues let's get someone else to contest mkize where is the cat they've been trying to kill the cat accidents after accidents he was even he even rushed to russia there to seek help from uh, putin where is dd mabuza let him contest zoli mkize he probably has more guards than the present one because it seems like the the, the soft spoken person the intelligent people who have been given to is not doing the job that they say he's going to be doing now they come up with this thing of a step aside rule we are going to deal with these people we have a case to answer and then the arrow points at the same person who's talking about all this thing of stepping aside does he step aside and respect the same step aside rule he's been preaching about every time or does he say i still have a case to answer but i'm going to tell you one thing when you have someone who's so invested in power who's so interested in in leading who lacks power more than delivering the service you're going to have a problem where someone says no i'm not stepping down i'm not stepping aside i'm continuing with this because you guys are after me you know that i'm going to win the second term as if there is anything the anc is doing like i'm i'm surprised why are people fighting over leading while they know for sure that they're doing nothing about this leadership if you give someone presidency for five years they don't come up with anything there's no uh good result that we can see what is it a point that he can go there and say i need another term another term for what you had five years you have done nothing all we can report on you is the shameful pala pala report now if you come to us and say i need more more years extra five years you are here to play games you think this country's um a game of dice we are not we are not playing playing pop here is it pop i'm not sure whatever we are not playing that you got to take the country serious because at the end of the day south africa is viewed by a lot of people and they are saying that how do these people let someone with so many allegations lead them what is going on and another thing that we must remember uh, don't forget that there was such a thing called the CR17 statements. I wouldn't be surprised if we find a prominent judge there on the statement. I wouldn't be surprised if we find people that shouldn't be involved with the pre with the ANC, with the presidency, with all this leadership. I wouldn't be surprised. And we have to commend the guys, the independent panel. Most of us thought, ah, no, these guys are going to side with uh, the president. These guys are going to make sure that the president is safe. But hey, they say, here's a rope. Put it on your neck. Now kick the chair yourself because we are not here to work with you. You kick the chair, you step aside. Now I think we are dealing with arrogant people here who are going to say, I am not stepping down. And there is that choir on the on the side when you are in parliament, you see them always praising that same person who has a case to answer. Come the 6th of um, December next week, EFF will be dealing with Ramaphosa. Now, people will say they are justified, but they've been justified all along to deal with this guy in that manner. Even the, uh, the ANC, I'll be happy if the ANC will come out in... As, as supporting not supporting Ramaphosa will come out against Ramaphosa and just say the man must step aside they must just say it on 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 the national uh, platform and say this guy must step aside just like our own um Dr. Lamini Zuma unfortunately uh, Mama Lamini Zuma it's too late for you to contest for the leadership of ANC I mean how do you get beaten by Zuelim Kize while we thought maybe you are one of the contestants there. Now Zolim Kiza is above you. Let's take DD and push him. Or Lindy Wasisulu and push him. But thank you for your words. If you go and read the ANC step aside rule, I think you should step aside. Next time you must copy Ramaphosa because this thing of just saying it like that, he might not be seeing it. The man is no longer on Twitter because he is there on the corner crying because he knows the end is near. Pagama Ramaposa, Ikesha, Lipelile. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel, and until next time, cheers.